Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to take you on a trip, right? So I would like to take you to South America. We're going to go over with a boat, right? So you can see. Um, now I want to picture yourself as a Spanish soldier around the 16th century, right? Can you imagine that? Okay, then you're going back to Europe now. You're sailing back. What you have is like you have tomatoes, uh, sorry, you have silver and gold, and you have tomatoes with you. So you're taking tomatoes to Europe. So now I would like to take you to modern times. Now you're getting these really nice tomatoes, right? Fresh, round, everything's perfect. But in the process of domestication and selection, we have lost many genes, many interesting genes. Among these genes, some of them are necessary to protect these tomatoes against insects. So what we use to protect them are insecticides. And especially derivative of nicotine. Right? But now, now's the problem. Now we can't use them anymore. They are banned for two years. And they will probably be banned for more time. So now we have to get back to South America again. So please go back to the ship and uh, let's move again to South America to get uh, wild tomatoes. Tomatoes that were never domesticated, never selected. They're still fighting every day against the insects. So they actually look like that, right? You don't want to eat them. Uh, so they're really hairy, they're really uh, wild. And if you think about them, they're a bit like grizzlies. And our tomatoes of today are actually teddy bears. So what we need to find um, are the good genes inside. So what I'm doing every day is like looking out for these good genes by studying gene expression and uh, looking at this big data that we have. And uh, I'd like to reintroduce these really uh, natural insecticides back in our everyday tomato, right? So um, the message today is get wild, go.